Hello, welcome to another video about the game I'm trying to make. It's been another week with a lot of modelling, so mostly that's what we're going to see. Um, so here we are, at the not quite the top of the stairs, which is a problem I talked about last week. I've now solved, although it needs some, some tweaking. Um, you can't see all of it, because the, the top bit isn't loaded into this file, just to try and cut down on load times. But... Um, Yes, yeah, so I, I think I've kind of got a solution to my, my stair problem. It's a, a bunch of these little um, mezzanines, I guess, with short flights between them. It still needs some tweaking. You don't end up in quite the positions I want you to. I want you a little bit further forward, for example, but the the idea is there. And, and once I've built more of the environment, I'll come back and, and tweak all this. I do like the, the final bit. You, you sort of go into the building, come out this corridor, and that doorway ahead is where I'd like you to go first. And uh, it's straight ahead. It's That's sort of the, the concept of this is that it, it leads you a little bit where I want you to come. Uh, I've got some stuff over here, which I don't like. It's all going to be removed. This is something that wasn't in the original plan, but I ended up with a space here and a filler little alcove. I made this sculpture, which I don't like. It's got some bizarre giant diamonds on it. They're going to go. This is a, the result of me attempting to, with textures, make a sort of a stone sculpture relief kind of thing. Uh, it didn't work, but uh, it's partly there, so I'll come back to that at a later date and try and get a better, uh, better effect. These arches represent my continued struggle with knowing how many polygons you can put in things. In the end, I erred too much on the side of caution, I think, here. There's... They could be smoother, so I'll probably come back to those. The major I've been doing is this downstairs room here, which now has a lot of, of furniture and stuff in it, mostly untextured, of course, um, tables and shelves and things. These storage jars are modelled from the storage jars that I used to make the music I talked a bit about last week. Over here we have a little um, downstairs bit you can go down to. The floor is temporary. It's it's too low of a resolution texture at the moment. Uh, I struggled. I've been struggling with this U, UV alignment, so lining up textures, making sure they go in the right places. And I'm more or less getting there with this. Uh, these bits do kind of sit under the columns as they're supposed to, and the the edges work. Um, but it's been a fight for me to try and work out really how you do texturing. I'm still learning. Here we have some uh, pithos, or pithoi is the plural, I think. Pithos are these storage jars, Grecian storage jars. And uh, I have a rack to store them in. I have some places in the grounds to, to keep them in and some hooks to hoist them on. This is kind of where we edge into the territory of I'm not sure how much to show in these videos. I think we're getting to the point where maybe... I want to avoid spoiling stuff. And so I might have to think about what's a way to make these videos a bit differently uh, where I don't just show you all the new bits that I've modeled every week and uh, talk about them because I don't want to don't want to show too much, I guess. Over there you have the beginnings of the the building along that side of the courtyard. And here you have a, a thing You'll probably remember from the first video, I've remodeled it to make it much less complex bit of architecture. I like it better, although I think it is a bit too gargantuan. It It's the wrong scale compared to everything else, I think. So I'll probably have a crack at scaling it down. Um, but uh, I've simplified it and I, I like the, how the simplifications have worked. I like the way the, the light glints off the domes and all that kind of stuff. Then at the far end, we've got the, the other bit that I've spent time on this week. It wasn't in my original design because I didn't get around to making it before I made that video. Um, but here we have the final kind of courtyard of, of three sections. And I've spent some time here trying to work out a little bit of cloth simulation. And we have these awning things which... which ripple in the wind. I haven't quite got the rippling effect how I like it, but 
I think I have got this idea of a gentle breeze, some slow movement. And uh, again, it's it's getting there, I think. There's a slightly unnatural thing, I think you can see if you stand over here, where one side of these ripples much more than the other. So the, the right-hand side is really going at it, the left isn't. Uh, I don't know how noticeable that is, how bad it is. It annoys me a bit. We'll come back to the code that's that's working on these things. It's a little script uh, running the the wind simulation. And then this is another thing that has taken a lot of time is the design of the end pieces for these beams. So I've got a structure here which is I want a sort of awning over this area. I want them. I want the structure of the awning to be significant and to uh, stand out. And I like the fact that as you walk along, as you come up to this, you can see the, the end bits jutting through the wall, the beams of the awning. But I didn't know how to do the end pieces, and I've worked through three or four designs, and uh, I'm still not entirely happy with this one. So, hmm. Back to the drawing board, maybe there. Uh, aside from this, I've been doing quite a lot of writing. I've got a script which is now up to about 5,000 words, which is way too many. It's it's much longer than the final game will be. And uh, I need to do some more detail passes on that and uh, then cut it down, cut it down really drastically, I think. Uh, but like I say, I think I need to... I need to think a bit about how I want to make these videos because I do want to make them I think they're helpful for me to to feel like I'm progressing but I don't want to show too much I guess uh, because it is starting to feel like maybe I, I will actually make a, a full complete thing here eventually however long it takes um, so we'll see there won't be a video next week because I'm away and um, the week after that is a, is a little bit dicey because I'll just have got back. Um, but we will see. Toodaloo.